it, it's a political issue, but if we as the world have decided that civilization is based on rule or law, yeah, and also on international treaties that we make a court on it that we should respect, but in our case, these were uh, not violated, and that makes in international arena, I say unjust acts cannot create law. These laws that were created by the politicians, in this case, is not on the competence of the local politicians yeah. and the local politics, and not in competence of the Dutch politician and the internal politics. It is international politics, yes, and that's why it is attached to international rule of law. And as a rule of law, mandates that peoples, all peoples, human rights should be respected. In our case, that was violated. That's why we have a case. That's why we walk all these years direction of the United Nations and the international community. That's where the International Court of Justice is international right. Why we have an international court of justice? Because somebody on an island government will deny people their right, will abuse them, will oppress them, will violate their rights. So that's why it's international court of justice, where the people at the end will make his universal right be respected. Yeah. So that is our objective as Noske uh, Bonaire back, and that's why we started the fight, and that's why we will continue the fight till our human rights will be completely uh, uh, restored because we didn't lose a right. They just um, step over with violated because we all born equal in rights and yes. dignity and we all humans have the same rights. Amen. There's no distinction about if you live in Holland or if you live in Bonaire. We all the same human. You're not more human than me. I'm not less human than you. And that's what it's all about at the end. So yes. that's what we'll keep fighting for yes. till they will respect their own agreed laws. We did to make this. We did to make those laws. We did to make those, those, those treaties. We did to make those, those accords. They made them. So we have to make them, respect them. Yes. And that is the, where politics um, get confused. We have to remind them politics and politics, I mean, at a governmental level, have one obligation, one duty. And let me explain it, spell it out for them. Let me spell it out for them. It is to respect our rights our human rights, respect our human rights, to protect our human rights, our rights, and to comply with our rights, our human rights. That is the only duty for the politicians. We have to make them understand that back, and then we all can live together back in a society where we all be happy and nice and live the life we want, we, and, we have, and we have a right to live. Yes.